Bill, the Bills did it to me again. Oh, ain't nothing left. That's right. Look who's back at it. Trying to cause some static. The old fanatic. Wins out of the sales, folks. Buffalo Bills are cursed. They're never going to win, trust me. Take another. I'm going to finish the bottle off. Oh, what a weekend. Um, had a couple, had a, <clears throat> JD's, had a couple more, uh, passings in the family, extended family, rest in peace, a couple more weeks to go to, I mean, 2024 ain't starting off good, folks, well, let's try to break the, Break the streak here. Did okay in the NFL. One three out of four. Again, I was looking around. Most of the Christmas stuffs put away. I was looking around for that time because of the bills, but it's not worth it. Like I said back in the day, I know where you're coming from. I broke some shit. I flipped out. It's not worth it. It's not. Uh, the other picks I gave you, Illinois won, Grand Canyon pushed. So, you know, is what it is. Um, briefly give you the ones. Um, I like the Niners. I got to go with the Niners. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Chiefs are going to beat the Ravens, that Lamar's going to. I mean, we'll see. I mean, everyone's saying the logo's um, gold and purple, 49ers and Ravens. We'll see. I mean, what does the blind squirrel say? What, what helmet does he go to? We'll see. Should be some good football. So, enjoy the games on Sunday. Um, I'm going to give you an update. The people um, have come up to me that are already subscribed or watched it or wanted to watch it. Um, we're going to be changing the name after this episode to Causing Static W forward slash Fanatic with the Fanatic. I think that's the way to go so people can find this channel. Again, direct your friends to it. Tell them about it. Tell anybody. You know, hey, I think you'd like this guy. Or, you know, you want to laugh at this guy's pain? Causing static with the fanatic moving forward. Still going to close it out with my opinion line. Keep the same kind of uh, my role in the show, my therapy. But I think the name change is going to help me. Um, we're, you know... Uh, funny story got together. I mean, you know, I got you guys all know we're going went through some stuff with the, the immediate family with the with dad. Um, finally got together, you know, face to face with my sister and my brother in law, my natural brother in law, and they ran into a couple people, you know, from back in the day, and they were like, you know, oh my god, is that you? To my sister, and yeah, how are you doing? They would always talk about us. They always, We always come up, me and the sis. I say, like, you know, sis? They're always talking about us. They're always, good or bad, they're always talking. You know what? That, that, uh, that touched me. And you know what? I'm going to shout out, um, again, I don't know if you're on, if you're on Facebook, wherever, but Tookster, old friend, look me up if you're out there. If anybody knows the Tookster that you know, and you know me, tell the Tookster the fanatics looking for him. 
Trukster's sister. God rest, God, not God rest in peace. Look, uh, hope everything work, works out for you. Reach out too. You know who you know who I am. If you know, if you find out about this channel, reach out. You know where I, how to reach me on Facebook. Um, old friends used to live next door, known forever. You know, three, four years old. That's what I mean, folks. I haven't seen him in a while. She ran into his wife. Good times. I mean, let's, you know, reconnect. It's easy. You know, you don't have to, hey, yeah, you know, old time. You just Zoom, text, little call. Shout out. Um, another thing. Oh, my God. Um... I know everybody's, you know, got their own things going on, but I mean, come on. I, I'm I watch I'm flipping through the YouTubes and I see all kinds of stuff. I seen that flashlight again. You know that the flashlight could blind you. So they could blind you and burn somebody. And you want people to buy it. Come on. I mean, are you kidding me? Um, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got, um, a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. Cold weather. Now it's going to rain, warm, warm up a little bit. But, you know, it's New Jersey. Um, speaking of New Jersey, went down, uh, again, went to see the, Went to see sis. The numbers are different. Six, seven, and then six. I mean, again, we have a bad rap as it is. Everybody, you know, bags on New Jersey, but you're doing it to yourself. Six comes before seven when I went to school. I mean, come. Speaking of that. I don't know about you guys, but I went to school. You got in trouble, you stayed after school for an hour. Books open or just no fooling around, no feet up on the other chair, no head down. Punishment. And you got, you know, you, you're, you know, you're insubordinate like the fanatic. You got one or two more. But if you were, oh my God, you had a part-time job or whatever, school, sports, athletics, one time, you didn't do it no more. These kids got it easy. They're there for 10, 15 minutes. They're on their phone, putting their head down, talking to their friends. It's not the same. It's not the same. And I mean... I didn't think this was true because maybe me and my ex, my uh, daughter's mom and, me and Mrs. Fanatic taught him, you know, and my mom had to see a clock with numbers on it that they're not illiterate or dumb. These kids don't know how they can't tell time unless it's digital. I mean, they're worried about stuff like, oh, my God, the kid's got a computer and an iPhone when he's five, but they don't know the basics. I mean, I've been around the block here, folks, and I, I was told, oh, you know, like 10 years ago, oh, there ain't going to be no more books. We're, gonna, we're killing all the trees. We're going to put it all on the computer. There's still books. It's like, oh, don't go into education teaching. There's going to be a huge room with a big screen with a teacher. Yeah, right. They're going to be teaching 20, 25, 30 kids, 35 kids forever. One teacher, trust me. It's not going, any, going away anytime soon. Be smart. Stay in school. You get two months off in the summer. Big pension. 
look into it. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on out there. I mean, again, the times are times are different. You got to go to college to be a police officer. I mean, really, you can't ride along with a veteran, with experienced officer, and learn how to do the job. Yeah, you should go to the academy. Okay, you know, make sure you're physically fit, and then take whatever they do there. But you don't have to go, book, the book's not going to help you if someone's going in, uh, robbing somebody or beating up somebody in the house. That's on the job training and knowing what the, what the, the guy that's been through it did. I, it's, the colleges are make, all making this, <clears throat> the banks, the loans, the goddess folks, you did it to yourself. You, you did it to yourself. You let things go. Yeah, my vote don't matter. You better wake up. Better get your head out of here. You know, you know what. All right, I'm going to break into the movie part. Um, I seen uh, Night Swim. Pretty good movie. A little suspense, a little weird, but suspenseful. Kept me interested. A bad movie. I mean, kind of like The Ring, you know, that kind of genre. You know, a little bit creepy, a little bit. You know, it starts off a little slow, but the Night Swim is good. Check that one out if you, you know, you like horror movies, a little suspense. Go back to a classic. The score that you might not know. The score, Robert De Niro, Ed Norton. Ed Norton was hot back then. He was popping up and everything. He was good. He had, he had a lot of good roles. I don't know what happened. Some of, something must have happened. Either he didn't want the roles or blackballed. The, the score, Edward Norton, is right on the money, man. <laughs> Robert De Niro is usually always good, too. There's a couple other people you're, uh, you'll recognize. I don't forget the Robert De Niro's lady friend or wife. Well, it's a good movie. It's a little um, a theft heist movie. The score. You're trying to get um, a rare artifact or art piece. And, it's, you know, of course, there's going to be a fucking backstab turn on with a good movie, good build up, good movie. There's a funny part in the park. And Norton gets caught. By a hacker. That's right. I'm still looking for you. You didn't get nothing. But you got the fanatic bad. Trying to do your little. Scheme on me. Excuse me folks. Trying to scheme. Um, scam the fanatic. If I ever see you. You know, have my foot so far up here. You know what? I'm going to be walking around with a pot, like you're a popsicle stick. Um, no, enough of that. He gets he gets caught trying to get the codes by a hacker. And he caught, he goes, oh, I'll give you the codes if you meet me with money. You can see the hacker, you know, the hacker's a hacker. He wants to make a score too. And he goes in the, in the, in the, into the park. And the hacker brings somebody with him. And Ed Norton goes, what are you doing here? What's this? Who's this guy? Oh, that's my cousin. Edward Norton goes, oh, that's nice. Look behind me. That's my cousin. Big fucking monster on the fucking, on a park bench reading the newspaper. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Everybody's got a cousin here. It's, that's right. There's all family. Let's make the transaction. <laughs> he had his cousin in there. And his cousin was a lot bigger than a wimp that the, <laughs> that the hacker brought, the geek. So, it's pretty pretty funny, a little levity in the movie, but that's a good movie to score. All right. Um, oh, let me, I had a quote for the day, and now it escapes me. Um, so, I'm just going to give you the immortal words of Bruce Willis and Die Hard. Yippee-yay-yo-ki-yay, motherfucker. 
All right. And as always, opinions, except for mine, are like fanatic, causing static. See you next time.